Hiya folks, a bit of a tinkering day today. I've got a new Irmisha grill to put on the front of the Voxel Astra and also a couple of these hood lift bonnet struts so that we can uh, get the bonnet to hold itself up rather than have the centre prop. Tinkering today, let's get on with it. So let's get this bonnet up in the air. Now they're quite a weighty bonnet these, and um, not that Sharon's ever gonna be doing any maintenance on it, but uh, as you can see, the centre prop here goes up there and stands there like that. And if you're working certain things on the engine bay, it can sort of get in the way. So we've got these gas struts that come in kit form. I just picked these up off of um, eBay, I think. And that was about 20 odd quid, 24 pounds, something like that, I think. And I think they're a good addition to the car, or modification if you want to call it that. And they're pretty simple to fix as well. So in the kit you get obviously two gas struts, one for each side. And you also get, again, a bracket and a little ball feature. And hopefully we shouldn't have to use any drills on this to drill into the wings or anything. I think we can use the existing holes. So let's have a little look at them first. So the struts are actually really, you can't actually push them in by hand. They are really, really tough. So we get two of them and all they've got on the end of them, it's just like a little ball and socket sort of thing. So they just literally push onto the ball and sockets of the bracket and the little nipple they come with. And as far as the fitting brackets are concerned, it couldn't be any simpler really. One angled bracket with a ball on that fixes under your existing bonnet bracket. And then you get this one which fits on top of your wing and there's actually a hole on the top of your wing as well so we don't have to drill any holes so as you can see here on top of the wing we've actually got this hole already there uh, so i'm going to be fitting this through that hole there and they do give you these two big washers one for underneath and one for on top all i will say is, is the one for on top the nut on top there which is all part of the ball and socket as you can see seems to be a little bit small and it could pull through that hole so all I'm going to do is put another washer on top of this one and uh, just help with that stability on that one. So all we literally have to do is literally undo that big nut there. This couldn't be simpler. Get the washer. Now I'm going to go and get another washer first, as I said to you. Right, so I've just got a set of washers here. And uh, it just helps me just to make sure that this one doesn't pull through there. You know, that's, that just looks a bit uh, suspect to me, so I'll find a suitable washer. Maybe this one here. There we go. That's better. And then put that one on top of that one like that. Now already you can see that um, that's a lot better now, isn't it? So I'm just happier that that won't pull through when I tighten up. And then go underneath. You want your washer underneath there. Put that through there like that. A little bit fiddly there with that bottle there. Get me nut underneath there. On there like that. There we go. Right, so I've got a 10 mil spanner for the top and a 13 mil one for the bottom. That fits perfectly, there we go. So if you're gonna do this, folks, get a couple of spanners. There we go, we're just gonna tighten down on this. Yeah, it was definitely a good job to put that extra washer on there because it does look like it would have pulled through. There we go. Right, okay, that's it, done. So there's the first one on. Let's do the same over the other side. Right, okay then, so we've got these two 13mm bolts that hold the, uh, the the hood on, or the bonnet. So let's just crack the top one, and let's wind that one out. And all I'm gonna do here, is place this under that bolt. Right, so there's our bracket there, and I'm just gonna put that on this way up. 
keep the ball high up under the, uh, the bracket itself. And then just nip that back up again. I think it'll go mad. There we go. Now there's our gas strut here. There you go. Jobs are good. There we go. Well, folks, it was a lot easier. That bottom one didn't want to go in. Maybe because of the angle more acute, I suppose. So I had to take that one off again, put this one on first. That seemed to work well. Right, okay then, so hopefully, they all seem to be attached. If I pull that right down, I just wanna go around and check. Seems all right that side. Seems all right that side. That's it. Yep, everything's okay and I'm just looking through there, we've still got a gap. So that was the ideal position for the uh, things to go. Let's open it up. And let's pull that clip up. There we go, look. Oh, that's a lot better, isn't it? Look at that, look, all that free space now. Well, I'm well pleased with them. So let's tackle this grill now. So I've got this Irmisha grill to go on the front and that uh, I think is gonna probably look a lot better than that old rubbishy sort of grill we've got there. So that's gonna go in there like that. Again, the badge is missing off of there. It's a little bit marked here in places. And all we've got here is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Phillips screws. So I'm gonna undo them now. And uh, it should just clip out. So this hopefully should be a nice simple job. Providing I can get all the screws out. And they're gonna be tight, aren't they? God, they're tight, they are tight. They're only going into plastic, mind you, but uh, yeah, very easy to round them off, I would've thought. So I've gotta be careful. And again, they're little um, self-tapping type screws. There's one. Right, let's pull that down. That should hopefully pop out now. There we go. That's that, so that's off now. Let's get the uh, replacement one in. There we go, just there. That should hopefully all line up. Right, I just realised that that grill's got loads of bleak and grime underneath it, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean with some waterless, waterless wash and rack, wax. Get that in there and just get some of that bloody grime out of there. Just got a toothbrush here, agitating it with. Oh, that'll do for the moment. Right, that's a bit better. So, now let's put the grill in. It should go in nicely now. That's it. And now I'll screw that back in. And I'll see you in a second. Right, that's it. Job done. Get all my bits out of the way. I've got left nothing under there. I will leave that in for the moment. I don't think there's any real need to take that out. It's not in the way at all. Keeps it original as well, I suppose. Right, let's shut that down. Like that. And there we go. You all right, baby? Hello, Michelle. That looks a bit tidy, doesn't it? Not new straws, I know. Michelle, keep what we've brought. Oh, go on and show them there, let's have a look. I can't stand it when we're out and you go and get a cold drink and they give them a horrible paper straw. So we now have in the car our own straws. Oh, there's bent ones as well. Yeah. And it comes with a straw brush. Look at that, look. These are... 2 99 For when you Amazon. go to somewhere like McDonald's or Burger King, they've got them horrible paper okay. straws now. And they all collapse after a while, so we just keep them in the car. They've got a little brush inside, as you can see. You got them, baby, didn't you? Yeah, I just... 
And it's better drinking out of them than the them big old horrible things, isn't it? I can't stand them paper straws. There you go. Right, folks. Well, there we go. I've fitted that now. I'm liking the look of that compared to the old grill. As you can see, the badge was missing on that one, but uh, that looks a whole lot tidier now, and it makes the old Hermisher front end stand out, baby. You like it? Hermisher. Oh, yeah. Well, you've got the Hermisher skirt on. You've got the Hermisher badge uh, thing now. You've got your bonnet struts, which hold the bonnet yeah, up in the project, air. Project man. Hermisher. <laughs> He's got one, yeah. He's just got the uh, little eye there, where we've got the actual Hermisher yeah, logo I've got there. This. Hermisher. He ain't got that show, has he? Hermisher. So I was going to do the dashboard lights. I think I'll do them in a different video. I've got all stuff to do with the centre console as well. I've got a reversing mirror, which I'm putting in Sharon's car. That's coming up very, very shortly. Ooh. And as you probably know, a lot of you, that I do powder coating with my um, electrostatic magic kit. Well, they've kindly got onto me this morning, funny enough, sent me an email, and they said that they're going to give me, you know the kit I've got in the, in the carry case? My actual um, powder coating kit complete. They're going to give me one of them to run a competition for you lot. So someone can win the actual full kit. I'll show you that probably when it arrives. And then Exciting. what we'll do, shall, uh, there'll be 20 runners up as well, and you'll all get a 20% discount if you do like the kit as well. So all you need to do, when I do announce this, maybe within the next week or so, definitely be within the next week, they normally send stuff out pretty quick, uh, is to leave in the comment section of the video powder coating kit competition write that down there like us with your thumbs up and also put our link for our youtube channel <laughs> on your social media whether it be instagram blah 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 whatever and uh, then obviously we'll take the number of how many people put powder coating kit competition or whatever in the comment section we'll all allocate you a number and then we'll do a random number generator so there'll be one winner who wins the whole complete kit and there'll also be 20 runners up whereas if you do want to buy the kit you'll get a 20 percent discount it's well worth doing anyway and as you know i do powder coating a lot so that's what he we've does. got we've Even got I've had a go. we've got that coming up as well we've obviously got more coming up on this and also uh, what else is there shell so much going on more bike stuff as well but anyway thanks very much folks hope you've enjoyed this little video Oh, I've also got a new um, diagnostic checker as well, which I'll be bringing in a review video. If you don't like review videos, don't bother watching them, because people say, oh, you're, you're selling out. No, I'm not selling out. They've given me this, and I've said that I'll do an honest review on it. That's all I can do at the end of the day, and give you my valued opinion, if it's worth anything. But there again, they think it is to oh, give it to me. Scratch my back, shall I? have got an itch. That's it. Very itchy back recently. Anyway. Thanks very much, folks. We're going to go now. shirt folks. Yeah, granddad. We're going to go now, and we'll see you in our next video. Do check out our Butler's Empire channel. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, what? I'm on Retro Research. Yeah, well, stay where you are. Don't go anywhere. Check us out on our Butler's Empire channel. And if you do like this sort of stuff, a lot of Butler's Empire stuff, someone complained again, shall oh, they what said, they Oh, what this, this, you we see Project Man stuff on Butler's Empire, and you're in these videos. Yes, it's all pretty much the same. Butler's Empire Where is Mummy and Daddy? is our behind the scenes videos, yeah? So you can see all sorts of stuff, what's going on on other channels. Some people charge for that, shall they? They have like a, a, a membership Royalties, site. Isn't well, it? Yeah, but we just call our back... back oh, uh, patrons, isn't it, they have for Yeah, they're patrons and all that. But we don't. All we do is say, if you want to see behind the scenes, go over Butler's Empire. That's our real life. And you may see some of Project Man stuff on there, because he's here working, so, isn't he? That's my son. And he's our son. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye. Come on, baby. Get the kettle on. I've already got it on and I've got the cup of tea already.